I wish you could feel what it's like to be where I am. Like Ellsworth Wareham. Minus 70, 365 day spans. Keep it mature and grown up and adult and professional. Not immature like a hoe or an adulterer or the overly, overtly sexual. You perverted specimen you. I took off my glasses, it's true, because this mask was putting gases on those lenses of two. I serve the beast way too much. I'd rather be alone and healthy with good stress than working deep with decent people but wasting my time with bad stress that aches in the mind for more paperbacks than I need to sustain my own life. But it works out, I guess. I don't work to death or work out to death. In this pandemic era, you seem to need a job not just for money, but as much so for a social life. And you definitely need a social life to go through life. So as long as there are jobs out there, the economy will be just fine, all right? So when the next superbug comes to scoop you up, whether it's from a feathery chickadee or a leathery slippery eel, you better be healthy, you see. You better eat healthy, you know what I mean? Your salvation is not outside of you. It is already inside of you. Extinguish that other bad side of you. Open your third eye. It's tried and true. No one starts out bad until they let demons in and deny the truth. Let me begin to supply the youth, older ones too, and you with what you need to know for the seed to grow. You already know if something is wrong or if it's right. Any amount of wrong will rock the foundation of life. How much do you want to place in your life? Remember that whenever you say no to that which is wicked and bad to the bone, you will never be battered, damaged, or scorned. Rather, you will be handed the crown, land in the throne, and bask in the promised land with God.